So the second piece of this is humility. As we finish up here, um, humility now, right? We're talking about magnanimity, if you remember, and that's your desire for greatness and your desire to be the best that you can be as a coach. Now, the next part is humility is the second virtue that's specific to leaders. That's you. Whereas magnanimity affirms our personal dignity and greatness, humility affirms the dignity and greatness of others. In other words, if we help other people be great, that'll help us be great by helping others be great. Even if they don't want to be. Even if they're reluctant to be. Right? You have that opportunity. You have all this, you have all this awesome power to do this. John Wooden, personal greatness for any leader is measured by effectiveness and bringing out the greatness in those you lead. He was one of the consummate teachers slash coaches, which you all are. If you all signed up for this, that's what you is. I went to Rutgers. That was okay. <laughs> all right? I believe in practice. I believe in practice. This whole club thing in the summer or these fall tournaments, the fall tournaments are hilarious. Thankfully, we recruit sixth graders, so we don't have to go to those tournaments. <laughs> because those sixth graders aren't at the tournaments that we go to. And, um, you know, kids don't practice. They show up. They're playing other sports. They're freezing cold. They're all wearing tights. All right? We have this event. Mike Murphy, uh, who's a coach at Penn, who's a Duke guy, his son comes to... Uh, Comes to, one of our, uh, comes to our event, and he's about, I don't know, he's 11 years old, 12, 10, 11 years old. He looks at us and he goes, he's obviously a coach's son, uh, and, he, and he's, he, look, he goes, a lot of guys wearing tights. And I said, that's right, don't you ever wear a tight if there's a college coach around, man. I think you're wearing tights. Because mom said you'd be warmer if you wore tights. All right, understand this well. There's something holy, something divine, hidden in the most ordinary situations and it's up to every one of you to discover it. Practice. Those little things in practice that will make a huge difference. It's not the games. Heck, you know what? I mean, we work all year round, 365 days a year, and we only have like 15, 16 games. So that's 350 times a days where we don't play games. So there better be something worthy you know, of, the, of our effort on those other days, and that's when your kids grow. That's when you grow. You become a better coach. Game day, you should be sitting back going, man, I don't have to do anything because my boys know exactly what to do. They're prepared. They're ready to go, and I don't have to do anything. 